All right. So, you know, sometimes I get kind of stuck on these like big questions, right? And today I want to dive into one that's been bugging me about the Marvel Universe. Oh, okay. Shoot. It was like death huh? in the MCU. Okay. Does it even like mean anything anymore? Mm. Yeah, I see what you mean. I mean, think about it. We've seen so many characters come back after what seemed like pretty definite endings. Right. And, you know, we're working from this article, Marvel's Immortality Dilemma. Yeah, makes a pretty strong case. And it really got me thinking about this whole thing, especially after some of the recent shows. Like, I mean, Agatha all along. Brilliant, right? Totally. But she's back. Yeah. After mm -hmm. WandaVision. I mean, it was like, wait, what? Yeah, and the article, it uses that as like a perfect example, right? Agatha Harkness coming back after we saw her. Well, we thought we saw her. Defeated. Yeah, exactly. And it kind of makes you wonder if death is just like a revolving door in the MCU, you know? It really does. And I got to admit, when they brought Agatha back, it was a little, I don't know, like I felt a little cheated almost. I get that. It's like the emotional impact of that whole ending. Yep. It just it kind of... Undermined. Yeah, exactly. And... The article makes this point that, you know, this isn't just like a one-time thing. Oh, no. No, at all. We've seen it with Tony Stark, Vision, even Scarlet Witch. Yeah. They've all had their brushes with death. Hodged it, really. Right. Through, what, resurrections, alternate timelines. Crazy stuff. It's yeah. almost like they're bending over backwards to keep these characters around. And it makes you wonder, like, what does that say about the stories they're trying to tell? You know. Exactly. I mean, if if there are no real consequences, no sense of permanence. Do the stakes even matter anymore? That's the question, isn't it? Like when a character dies, hmm. shouldn't we feel the weight of that loss? Absolutely. It's like that finality. It's part of what makes a story powerful, right? I think so, yeah. You think about shows like Breaking Bad or The Sopranos. Right. Those worlds, they have real consequences. <laughs> when someone dies, it's for good. And it changes everything. It ripples through the whole narrative. And it makes it so much more, I don't know. Intense. Yeah. Re and gripping, too. And maybe it's like it shows a certain respect for the audience, you know? Oh, for sure. Like, they trust us to handle those tough emotions. Yeah, the grief, the loss. But with Marvel, sometimes it feels like they're, I don't know. Holding back a little. Yeah, like they're afraid to let us really grieve. And let those characters go. And it's funny because you think about a show like WandaVision. Right? Yeah, so The black. way they explored Wanda's grief. So raw, so real. And it was so impactful, precisely because it felt so permanent. Like, there was no coming back from that. Exactly, and that's where the dilemma comes in. Because by bringing characters back, it almost undermines those powerful themes. It's like they want to explore the depths of human emotion, but without fully committing to the consequences. Right, like having their cake and eating it too. Yeah, and the article, it argues that this approach, it actually weakens their attempts to tackle those big, mature themes. Lost consequences. Redemption. Yeah, all those things. They lose some of their weight. So, I mean, where do we go from here? Are we just supposed to accept that death is meaningless in the MCU? Oh, well, I think it's a tough balance. Yeah. On the one hand, you know, letting go of these characters, it's hard for yeah. fans, for creators. There's this natural desire to keep those stories going. Right. Nobody wants to say goodbye. But on the other hand, if you keep bringing them back, it creates this kind of narrative fatigue. Like we've seen it all before. Exactly. It diminishes the impact of those big moments, the sacrifices, the losses that should stay with us. You know, long after the movie's over. Absolutely. And the article ends on this really interesting point, asking if the MCU should maybe, like, allow some of his heroes to have a permanent farewell hmm. as a sign of respect, a way to honor their legacies. That's a tough one. It is. It's a really difficult question. But it's definitely worth thinking about. Yeah. Maybe true heroism isn't about cheating death. Maybe it's about accepting it. And letting go. And letting those stories, those characters have their final chapter. And that, you know, that's something I think we can all ponder. Definitely food for thought. For sure. All right. So... We've been talking about death in the MCU. Right. And whether it even matters anymore. And whether Marvel should maybe consider letting go of some of its heroes for good. It's a tricky question. Lots to think about. Absolutely. But hey, that's what these deep dogs are all about, right? Exactly. Exploring those big ideas, the stuff that sticks with you. So until next time, keep those brains buzzing. And keep questioning everything. We'll see you in the next deep dive. See ya.